This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Rachie Bob here. Welcome to another Sims Mobile video. In this video, I'm going to be touring this Claude Castle. This is on the paid prize track for the Sim Festival, Sim Fest number four, Eerie Autumn. This is Claude Gidry's Castle. So I'm going to collect that and see it's number 45 on the paid price track. So now if I open up my inventory and go to the top right icon on the pop up, I can see I have this fully furnished house. Oh my goodness. Why is it grayed out? Friggin sandwiches. Ugh, let me just try and find, is it? Oh my goodness. I do have quite a lot of sandwiches. Hi, could you just clean up the sandwiches? Thanks. Okay, that should do it. Let's try again. Nope, still sandwich. Maybe she just needs to actually wash the sandwich away. Honey? Okay, there we go. <laughs> 20 by 20 fully furnished house, Claude Castle. You can tap the magnifying glass if you just want to see it. If you want to place it, tap the free button. Once you've placed it once, you will have to pay to place it again. We'll look at the price in a minute. So let's just place this now. That's fine. I saw this house um, on a call with the gurus ahead of time and it did not wow me. You know, I'll show you around, but I can't promise I'll be excited. Hopefully in person it's a bit better, we'll see. But that's the whole purpose of these videos. Not to advertise, but to give you an honest look at the items so you know whether they're worth your time or money or whatever. So. Oh my goodness, look at that tree. It's that lack of attention to detail that's really making this game slip amongst a million other things, but this really isn't helping. Let's look in this top right bit then. Where, where is it? Here we go. 2,556 sim cash if you want to buy it again, which is the equivalent of between 30 and 50 pounds. Hmm. Okay. So this is, this is it. I think this is the sort of house where it would have been great if we'd had a basement. Outside we have these gargoyles. Most this stuff or all this stuff we'll have seen before and a lot of it comes with the current Simfest. This tree is the one that's free for everybody um, as a part of the base game. So I think if you've already got most of the stuff you'd be able to build this yourself but obviously a lot of it comes with the Simfest anyway. Uh, a little graveyard outside with some candles pumpkins, flowers, all that kind of stuff. And then inside, I do quite like how grand the inside looks. I think it could have done with a more grand staircase, but we've got the hallway with the red carpet. And on this side, you've got the piano, Gidry's piano, and a suit of armor, the spectre, fireplace, and some pictures on the wall little cabinet back there, some art, lights, curtains, full shebang. And in this room we have typewriter. I guess this is a little library type thing, a little reading nook. All just feels a little bit empty. I think the idea was that this was Gidry's castle and he'd been renting it out and I'll, I'll tell you about that bit when we get to it because I just found that quite ridiculous. This is the kitchen. I love how they've got the cauldron in here. I think that's fun. I do, don't like this window being weirdly behind the cabinet. I thought that was so weird when we got shown it. It's like, I don't know. Does that work? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't feel like it does. I mean, at least it should be near the sink, but to have it there is just very strange. Cute little smiling pumpkin. He's so cute. Oh, God, what the hell? The cabinets aren't even attached to the wall. How long do we think this build took them? This is an absolute joke. And then in here, a dining room with a fireplace. I do like those flowers on the table. Lots of random knife sets, which is creepy. <laughs> okay, let's go up to the next floor. Well, this is something that Mal pointed out actually, this painting, and I have no idea why it's in here because it's not... Oh, no, I'm good, thanks. But this is free, so do get this pack. P 
picture, which is not gothic at all, was from the ASOS event um, that they said they would never add any of the items or rerun because I think legally they couldn't do that because they were tied to a contract with ASOS so it had to be a limited time and only ran once so the fact that this they've added this is either means it's a good sign and we'll see the ASOS event or they've made a huge mess and added it by accident and I know which one I think is more likely I don't even know why you would choose this to go in this place but this was supposed to be a house that a castle that Gidry lived in was his but he rented it out so by saying that you've kind of excused anything that doesn't match and to be fair we'll probably change it all ourselves I think you would have to but oh I just I, can't. I mean this I don't think you would choose to put this sink set in a gothic castle but there we go again candles um weird stuff totally on brand for this but a lot of stuff not on brand and then in this room you've got a shower with a divider a lamp it's all a bit of a strange setup and a much more fitting sink in this one got the bed in here and a little shrine area mirror the dresser the bedroom's quite nice i like that and then another little reading nook I'm, i swear they just put reading nooks in things where they don't know where to put anything else this applies to all sims games and then we'll go upstairs this is the creepiest room of all and i quite like that it's like this this is such a random floor with zero purpose but it's kind of creepy so this is essentially what i think the basement would or could have been if basements were in the game there's also no door to get into the room which could be fitting with the creepy tone of it or could be an error and i'm not sure which is right because of the state of the build you've got your candles and you've got like a abandoned kids toy area with your weird gothic wumples there but you've got some knives a voodoo doll which is very cool which you can admire yay and your spectre jar so it's all and you've got your cobwebs up there i think that's i think that room and the bedroom are my favorites the rest is kind of lacking and I think the whole layout, the windows like are not right for it, especially on the top floor. I, I don't know. I think this could have been better and I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I hope this tour is useful to you and um, hopefully we get some answers about how the game moves forward and about that ASOS print soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!